listen, I'm watching the quarterback thing, and I like Kirk Cousins as a, as an individual. Like he's a very nice guy, but as as a as a quarterback, I need to rely on to get my wide receiver Justin Jefferson the ball. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'd rather I would literally rather have Kelsey. Like I'd rather have Kelsey, bro, because I think Kelsey. Because Kelsey's got Pat thrown to him, and I think he would be a more reliable pick than JJ. Y'all are tripping, bro. You guys will see week one, man. You'll see week one. There's no way. No way. I think Minnesota, I, I think Minnesota is, is, I said it last year, they were frauds, okay? They weren't supposed to be in the playoffs, all right? They weren't supposed to be there. And what happened? What happened? Vi any Vikings fans out there? How'd it go, guys? What happened, bro? I'll tell you what happened. The Dallas Cowboys literally got further. That's, that's what happened, okay? Bust. That's all I'm saying. You're a casual Cowboys fan. My team can win the Super Bowl this year, okay? And the Vikings can't. All right, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Um, Tim, the Panthers are winning the Super Bowl. Quit playing. <laughs> Someone tweeted, I wish there was a skip button for when Tim talks football. It's so biased and he knows nothing other than the Cowboys. That way we found the Minnesota fan. I know Minnesota had one of the best records last year and then they lost first round. That's what I know. Okay. All right. Minnesota fan, goodness gracious, man. All right, tough pill to swallow, okay? Tough pill. I don't know what to tell you. Milk, thank you for the new market. You know what? This is a good transition. You know why? I have a little segment we're doing with FanDuel before we get into Rainbow Six here. Hashtag ad. Everyone type it with me. And I am doing a top 15 quarterback tier list, okay? Okay. This No, this is actually a good transition really quick, okay? You know, while, you know, while we're on the football thing, okay, I'm going to put – I got the top 15 in order. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone type hashtag ad, hashtag ad. All right. After this, we're going to get into gameplay. I, I, actually, I got to read Donos. I have a $50 top D. Should I read it? No. Yes. No. In a minute. Okay, guys, listen. F FanDuel. Ha Everyone type hashtag ad now. Everyone type it. We've been working with FanDuel for quite some time. Okay. Here's what we got. The NFL is right around the corner. Okay, if you and whips pin the link, fanduel.com slash tapman SBK. All right. FanDuel's hooking up new users with two hundred dollars in bonus bets guaranteed after your first five dollar bet. And all users who bet five get a hundred dollars off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV. Okay. If you go to fanduel.com slash tapman SBK and sign up now, you can take advantage of it. All right. Whips, there says graphic. Oh, wait. Hang on. I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong scene. That's my bad. Whips got a pin link right there, okay? Whips, you got the graphic, bro? There it is. See? Look. Sorry, guys. My employee. Um, okay. See? Right here. New customers bet $5. I, okay. $200 in bonus bets guaranteed and $100 off from YouTube and YouTube TV Sunday ticket. I, that's a W, bro. FanDuel, all right? We love FanDuel here. We've worked with them for quite some time. W's and chat for FanDuel, all right? So here's what I want to do with y'all as well, okay? I am going to put together a top 15 NFL QB tier list, okay? And basically, whips, where are the, okay, so I'm doing this and I'm looking at, where's the QB odds? Okay. So basically the way I'm going to do this is they have the odds from uh, FanDuel Sportsbook. Now this I'm going to more so use as a guide. Okay. And I'm still, just so you understand, I'm still going to go with what, who I think is the best in the top 15. Okay. But just as, just as like an example of this. All right. 
Um, FanDuel, for example, thinks Mahomes has better odds to win MVP at plus 600, but I might think that like Josh Allen is the best QB in the league, and he's even though he's plus 700 to win MVP. Does that make sense to you guys? So like, I have the FanDuel odds here that I'm looking. So like, Pat's plus 350, Joe's plus 600, Justin Herbert's plus 600. Okay. Um, hang on, whips. This is passing props. That's okay, right? Ah, that's fine. This works. Okay. And so based off this, all right, I am doing my, my, so basically, you know, I'm using the FanDuel props to potentially weigh my, my guesses here. All right. Let me put Dak over. What, what the, what is this ad, bro? What? All right. Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> okay. After this guys, we're going to get into rainbow six. All right. Everyone type hashtag ad. Uh, oh, that's cool. Nice. All right. So <laughs> here we got, we're, okay, Aaron Rodgers, we'll start. Aaron Rodgers, I'm moving back to the end, all right? Okay, this is probably going to go horrible. Okay, this is the top, guys, this is statistically the top 15 QBs in the NFL. Don't be mad at me, okay? It's just facts. Someone goes, where's, where's, where's Purdy? All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, Aaron Rodgers is plus 1,400. For a FanDuel Sportsbook. This is like his passing props, okay? Um, I think that... Uh, you know what's, you know what's kind of hard about Aaron Rodgers? You don't know how this is going to go, right? Like, he's going to the Jets... It's a whole new organization for him. It's a whole, it's basically an entirely different team. All right. Now he, he's a good, obviously he's, he's a very good quarterback. Okay. Rogers is. This is regular season passing touchdowns. And this is basically saying that he could have the most regular season passing touchdowns at plus 1400. I mean, to be honest with you, I could kind of, I, I kind of like that, to be honest. He could potentially, but I think as far as a top 15 quarterback situation goes, I'm going to go B for this year, all right? The reason I'm doing this, just so you guys understand, Aaron Rodgers, this is going to be a 50-50, okay? It's going to be a 50-50. You don't actually know. No, it's not a troll, bro. How am I supposed to say he's A or S when he, dude, he hasn't, this is going to be a whole new year for him. I'm so bad at this. I think this is a good pick. I think B is very, very understandable. Okay. Hang on. Where is, okay. 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 You guys ready for this? FanDuel props. Danny Dimes, 2023 to 2024 season total passing TDs. Over 17 and a half, under 17 and a half. I got to be honest with Danny. I might take the over on that. I think Danny's going to actually have, well, passing TDs. Mm. I might go, okay. I actually like going over 17 and a half with, their, with the, the prop betting on that. But here's the reality, in my opinion. I could, I could see that. In my opinion, though, Danny Dimes overpaid. Not that good. I think he's a C-tier quarterback. Okay. Um, Deshaun Watson, bro. Wow, dude, Deshaun Watson, regular season total passing TDs. You guys ready for this? Over 23 and a half, under 23 and a half. I'm under, bro. I'm under on that. Um, me personally, FanDuel, I'm under, uh, just so you know. But, you know, the thing with Deshaun Watson, I, I don't know how this year is going to go for him. I have no idea. Here's what I will say. I don't think I could put Aaron and Deshaun on the same line. So I think I'm going to put Deshaun Watson at C with Danny Dimes as well. Tim, Aaron Rodgers just won MVP. Guys, are you listening to what I'm talking about? Stop. Stop. Okay? Knock it off. All right, we got Gino. Okay, you guys ready for this? I'm going to do one, a different one here. Um, regular season passing yards for Gino Smith over under. You guys ready? Over 38.25. 
or under 38.25? Um, a lot of you are saying under. That's a t- that is a tough one for that prop bet. I think I'd go under. I think I'd go under. And Gino. Ugh. I. Oh, uh, this one's, you know, Gino's kind of hard. Gino's tough. He has such good wide receivers, you know. Um, Gino's a better quarterback than Dak. That's not true. I'm sorry, Gino. I'm going to go Gino Smith in, in C tier. All right. <clears throat> Jared Goff. Hey, we said this is the top 15 quarterbacks in the league, right? We got Jared Goff here. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me, I want to see what their prop is for passing TDs on golf. Where is it? Jared Goff, 2023 to 24 over 24 and a half. We are slamming the under. Oh my God. Okay. Under 24 and a half for golf. And, um, oh, All right, let's move on. <laughs> Tyler would be so mad at me, bro. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, Goff. I just don't know, man. You know what's interesting about Detroit? They could have a breakout year. You know, they could, but I just don't. I mean, do I think, okay, I have to ask myself a question. I think he's better than these three. If I'm honest, I'm putting golf on the same level as Danny. I am. I'm sorry, Tyler. Don't hate me. I'm not a casual, bro. I literally know what I'm talking about. Okay, Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Over 31 and a half, under 31 and a half passing touchdowns. Oh, I'm going over, bro. I love Josh Allen. He's one of my favorites, bro. He's one of my favorites, bro. I love Josh Allen. Do I think he is S tier? I think Josh Allen's going to be the first person I put as an S tier quarterback. Maybe Aaron's supposed to be here. No, this this could maybe work. No, no, I'm gonna stand by what I said. You guys don't think Josh Allen is an S tier quarterback? No way. I guess he does throw some interceptions. Fine, I'll go A. Fine. All right, A tier. Definitely better than Aaron Rodgers. I'll say that. And as far as his prop bet goes, I'm going over 31 and a half easy. All right, Fields, bro. Talk to me. Where's Fields passing touchdowns? Oh, my God. Justin Fields over 17 and a half, under 17 and a half, regular season total passing touchdowns. I'm slamming the over. And if I'm honest with you, I like Justin Fields a lot. This is my list. Okay. This is my list. This might be a hot take. I think Justin Fields could be a B-tier quarterback. I really do. If anything, I, I no, I don't think... I, well, no. This dude, I, how how is this casual, bro? Where are my Bear fans at right now? Are you guys watching what Justin Fields is doing right now? What? You guys think that he's C? No way. No way. No way. I like Justin Fields. I'm going B, bro. All right. Herbert. Oh, this one's going to be crazy. Wait, how many how many touchdowns for Herbert on this on these odds? Where are you? Hey, where's Justin Herbert? I All right, Justin Herbert over 30 under 30. Um I'm going over. FanDuel, I'm going over on that for Herbert. I would go over. And on this tier list, I am putting Herbert with Josh Allen. I like Herbert a lot. I had Herbert as my fantasy quarterback. I think it was like a year or two ago. And I was, I was a big fan. I think he's a very good QB. I think he's a little underrated too, if I'm honest with you. Now, Herbert's cracked. I don't know how any of you are even remotely questioning that I'm putting Herbert at A tier. He is easily an A tier. Easily an A tier quarterback, bro. Not even close. 
Okay, hurts. This one, uh, this one's gonna hurt my soul a little bit, but I gotta do it. Um, how many touchdowns for Hurts? It's gotta be like. Hey, I don't see it. I don't see the prop bet for him. Jordan Love, Josh Allen. Am I not seeing this right? Hang on. Wait, do you see Jalen on this? I don't see him. I guess I'll have to do a different prop. Mm. Hang on, I'm looking for something. Check. Give me one sec. I was really hoping that he'd have like a, um, a TD one, but I don't see it for some reason. Okay, Jalen Hurts total season passing yards over thirty six twenty five under thirty six twenty five. Uh, I go over. I, Hurts is a fantastic quarterback. I, I'm a Cowboys fan. I hate to admit this. I I think he's asked here. I really do hate to admit this. Like this, this kind of pains me. Like I don't want to think this, but I can't be an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Hurts is. He is so good. He's good, bro. He's good. He can scramble. He's got a great arm. He has fantastic receiving core. He's an S-tier quarterback. His offensive line, they're cracked. They're, they're cracked. The Eagles are cracked, and I hate to admit it. All right? S. I think he's S-tier. All right, Burrow. Where's my boy at? I think I saw Burrow on the, um, on the TD one. Hang on. Okay. Joe Burrow, regular season total passing touchdowns. Oh, that one's locked. Mm. I wonder why that one's locked. I wonder if it's because, is he so like questionable right now? I think he's playing right. Okay, Joe Burrow, uh, total season passing yards. You guys ready? Over... 42.75 or under, I'm going over. I'm going over. Joe Burrow, easy S tier. Not even, this shouldn't even be a question in my opinion. Um, I dare say that he he might even be in a step above Hurts a little bit, but as far as this list goes, I'm going to put him there. I literally just had someone say no shot. You guys are, you guys are, I don't, I don't even know, bro. All right, Kirk Cousins, man. God, I was literally ranting about Kirk earlier. Okay, Kirk Cousins, regular season total passing yards over 4275, under 4275. I am slamming the under. Uh, Kirk, ugh. Okay, I don't think he's as bad as Danny Dimes. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go B for Kirk. Yeah, he's not A. He's just not. He's not. I'm going to go B. I think that's fair. I think people are still... You know, dude, you guys are still confused about that. Hey, bro, go watch the, the Viking season last year. Go watch it. Go watch it. All right, thanks. So, he's B. Take it or leave it. Lamar. Does Lamar got the passing touchdown one? Let me see. I actually be curious what his is. Lamar Jackson, regular season total passing touchdowns, 23 and a half uh, over or under 23 and a half. That one's actually kind of hard for passing touchdowns because Lamar runs a lot. I might go under for 23 and a half because he runs a lot. Like he uses his legs, which is totally fine, but that's passing touchdowns in that prop. Would you guys over or under for that? I think I'd go under. I'm honest. For passing touchdowns, I think I'd go under 23 and a half. Um, and as far as where he ranks on this QB list,
I think I'm going to go A. I like Lamar a lot. A lot of people are like, dude, he's a running back. Dude, he's a running back. The reality is Lamar is an incredible athlete. He can extend the play. And in my opinion, he's an A-tier quarterback. That's what I believe. All right. Um, Stafford. Hmm. Where's Stafford at? I don't see Stafford. Hang on. Hold on now. Okay, Matthew Stafford, regular season total passing yards over 3550, under 3550. I would go. If I'm taking that fan duel, that prop bet, I would go. I think I'd go under for that. I'd go under for Stafford under 3550 passing yards. I think. Uh, and as far as where he ranks on my QB list here, uh, Stafford, in my opinion, is B tier. And some of you might disagree, and that's totally fine. That is totally fine. But I think he's a B-tier quarterback, and that's me. No, there's not no shot that's even one question mark. There's no way. Moving on. Patrick Mahomes, bro. I mean, regular season passing yards for Pat, over 46.50 under. You know what's crazy? How good Patrick Mahomes is? I would say that he would throw over 4,650 passing yards in one season. Absolutely. And I mean, he's S. To be if I'm honest, I don't even know if we need a D tier. We might need like an S plus, and like Pat could go up there. I mean, he's. I don't know anyone that would remotely disagree with him being up there. <laughs> Russell Wilson. Oh man, Mister Unlimited, bro. Where, where? Russell Wilson, Regular season total passing touchdowns over 24.5 under. I am slamming, absolutely slamming the under on that FanDuel. I want you to know that. FanDuel, I want, I want, I would put my bank on that under, okay? And we do need the D tier. And there he goes. Okay, listen, man. Broncos, Broncos country. Let's ride. If you were watching last year, you understand. You understand why he's there. All right. He has got a lot to prove, all right? There was literally a guy on TikTok saying, is Russell Wilson going to get more passing or more touchdowns than he has bathrooms in his house? And he made an entire series out of it. That's a, it's a D-tier quarterback. I don't know what to tell you guys, man. That's D, all right? T-Law, T-Law, Trevor Lawrence, regular season total passing touchdowns over 25 and a half, under 25 and a half. I like Trevor Lawrence a lot. I would go over 25 and a half. And if I am putting him on this list, where am I putting Trevor Lawrence? Um, some of you were saying C. I think he's an A. Uh, I was I was honestly going back and forth between B and A. I'm gonna go B though. I'm gonna go B. I think he's B. Solid QB. Um, I mean their game against the Cowboys like ruined our season last year, literally. So, all right, Tua. I I like Tua, man. Tua regular season passing touchdowns over 25 and a half, under 25 and a half. That's a tough one. I might go under for that, honestly. I do like Tua, though. Tua, the thing, honestly, the thing with Tua, man, he's just got to be healthy. Like I said, he had, a, he had a rough year last year with injuries and stuff. If he stays healthy, I think he's a very good QB. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going between, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I like Tua, bro. I'm going to go B. This is my list, bro. This is my list, right? It doesn't matter what you guys think. This is my list. And I think Tua, I, I think Tua is a B-tier quarterback. A lot of you were saying C. I disagree with that, bro. If he gets protection and he, like, he's a good quarterback, man. Very good QB. Last but not least, best quarterback in the NFL, Dak Prescott. Uh, let me look for, hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dak doesn't have the, pa the passing touchdown prop. Oh. Oh, he does. Dak Prescott. Regular season total passing touchdowns over 26 and a half, under 26 and a half. I'm going over. I'm going over. And you can statistically look at his, at his TDs last year if you want to, FanDuel. All right, I'm going over for that. Okay. Um, Dak. I just saw FanDuel say he's a Q 
to your quarterback. Oh, okay. So we're all just trolling me now. I The fact that any of you, Dak gets so much hate for no reason. And the fact that any of you are trying to say Dak is supposed to be a D-tier quarterback is disrespectful. Okay. He's an S-tier. And you guys need to get a grip. Okay. This isn't a question. Right. This isn't a question. If you go look up the stats and you compare, okay, you can see that Dak is an S-tier Okay, he's not S. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Um, Dak is way better than Kirk Cousins. A. I, I'm dead serious about A. If I got Kirk at B, I can't put Dak down there. I can't. If this, I can't. I can't do it. Dak is, a, a, is statistically overall better quarterback than Kirk Cousins. No shot. Really? Go look at go look at the tape and go look who got further last year. Because I forget, Vikings fans. Who went further? Dallas or Minnesota? Right. Dallas. Okay. A tier. Don't talk to me. He's the best quarterback in the NFL. All right. There's my list. Let me get a thumbs up. Top 15 QBs in the NFL. And this segment was sponsored by FanDuel. Everyone type hashtag ad one more time. Hey, FanDuel. Those, what do you think of those props, though? Pretty good, huh? Okay. One more time, friendly reminder. Whips thrown on the way on the way out here. All right, Fa- we work with Fanduel a lot here, guys. We got a they got a great promo going out right now. All right, if you go to fanduelcom slash All right, with the NFL being right around the corner, Fanduel's hooking up new users with two hundred dollars in bonus bets guaranteed after your first five dollar bet. All right, there's this giant thing. I'm gonna while I'm reading this. Okay, see. And all users who bet five dollars will get a hundred dollars off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV. It's a great deal, man. I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, so basically click the link, get involved. And honestly, you should do some of my prop ads, bro. All right. I'm going to type hashtag on on the way out. Hashtag on big, uh, big, big sound, sound of applause, sound of applause for sound of a, what the sound of applause, big round of applause for FanDuel and for working with us over here, guys. W chat W. All right. Okay. Um, Good. All right. Guys, now that my sponsor's gone and this is no longer a hashtag ad, will you all shut the fuck up? Dude, how are you guys questioning? Wait, whips, the tier list is gone, buddy. You you gotta figure that out. You didn't tell me about that. So you gotta, yeah, go ahead. Do it, do it in post. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Whips, you typed it when it's gone, bro. It's gone. Whips is t- now whips is trying to yell at me for not doing something that he didn't tell me about. Open it again. What the fuck are you? Whips, it ain't there, buddy. I got this guy Whips telling me that I got to zoom in on the... Whips, what? Hang on, guys. No, go ahead, Whips. Do what we need to do. Get the thing. Get making me work. I can't... I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Dak interception leader for plus a hundred dollar on FanDuel insta lock. Oh, okay, okay, all right. All right. I, everyone act like I didn't just give a thumbs up here already. All right, here we go. All right, there you go, guys. Give me, give me out, give me out. Everyone, everyone smile. All right, take a picture. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 